I'm Eric Russell, and this is an Out and About episode with author and horse enthusiast Kate Chenery Tweedy. Hi, Eric. Nice to be here. Thank you for doing this today. This sure. is an absolute pleasure. Me too. So, give a little background about your new book. It's Secretary. It's Meadow. Mm -hmm. How did you come to write it? I know there's a movie involved and all that stuff. Well, it's about my grandfather's farm, the Meadow, which is where Secretary was born. Okay. And uh, I uh, grew up in Colorado, but I came to Virginia all the time uh, to visit Granddaddy and enjoy the meadow. And the meadow is uh, actually now the State Fair of Virginia, and it's um, about it's right outside of Doswell, yeah. right across from King's Dominion. That's right. And so it's a it's a local landmark, and and we came here often as as children, and I just loved it so. And then of course, uh, Granddaddy got old at one point. Mm -hmm. He had been he had a race. A horse breeding farm. When he got old, my mom had to take over the farm, and, and we were still living in Colorado, so she commuted from Denver, and this is the subject of the new movie, Secretariat. Well, you know, obviously I'm leaping ahead, because um, after about four years of commuting, uh, a, a, a breeding combination that Granddaddy had set up produced this amazing horse, and so mom happened to be the one in charge at the time, and and this uh, just incre incredible champion came into our lives, and of course the rest of my life was very normal. And mm -hmm. so when I hit, you know, my fifties, I thought, you know, I need to, I need to figure out a way to reconcile these mm -hmm. wonderful events from my early years into the rest of my life. So I've written a book called Secretary's Meadow, which is about the farm, yes. about Granddaddy, about gra about Mom. Um, it sort of tells everything that leads up to the movie and everything after. It's yeah. a beautiful book. I, mean, Thank I had a chance you. to flip through it last night going, oh, yeah. this is just gorgeous. Thank you. Tell us a little more about Secretary. I know people will see the movie and they have their business, but yeah. you really knew. Yes. So tell us a little bit more about Secretary. Well, uh, in addition to being just a phenomenal equine athlete, he was a kind of a ham. He was very much a, a star. He knew it. He enjoyed it. He would pose for cameras. If you heard that click, he'd so I lift up his head and go, how do you like this side? Well, what about this side? And he'd actually puff himself up in a way. And and mom says he, uh, she, I didn't see it as much, but she sees, she describes him doing that on the racetrack as well. Actually, in the circle, mm -hmm. the, before they, uh, when they've just saddled up the jockeys and uh, they're walking around the circle, he would sort of, you know, intimidate the others <laughs> by saying, look, hey, I'm, I'm big, I'm strong, and I'm going to beat you. And, it, and then he would. <laughs> it was really amazing. Do you have a favorite, like from the book or from the movie, like a favorite scene, like, oh, I remember that, or that wasn't quite how I remember, but mm. just something that just, like one moment that just sticks out? Well, I, I suppose as a child, before Secretary came along, mm -hmm. one, of my, one of my very favorite things was walking down uh, after dinner with, with Granddaddy and Mom down to the broodmare barns okay. to, to see the mamas and babies, and we'd feed them you know, carrots or bring apples or something, and and, uh, and just the the lovely soft summer smells and the hay and the and the quiet sounds of the of the of the horses, you know, whuffling and in the fields and in their in their stalls was just a magical time. And of course, that was when I was young. Now, during the movie, I got to say my favorite moment was the Belmont race okay. when he won, which he won by thirty one lengths and completely blew away the records and continued to set records even after he'd finished the uh, cross the finish line mm -hmm. and um, and then that, that was just one of those sporting events you could never imagine and could and it can never be topped I don't think yeah. with the making of the movie mm -hmm. and this, again this great book in in the book here what's your favorite piece from your own book that you like that oh. you wrote ah well, um, what's my favorite piece? I think the chapter on my childhood memories of the meadow, because uh, it was a world that was magical to mm -hmm. me, and I, um, in recounting all of the the things I remember, the smells and the sounds and the, you know, the way it looked from a child's perspective, really brought me back to that time, and I, you know, I loved that, and I, I hope others who read it will enjoy it too. It's, you know, maybe others have experiences like that where they went. To a place in their in their youth, and they and it was just amazing the, what they experienced there. And, um, I, I sort of hope there is uh, something universal for others in reading this book, uh, an experience like that. People love horses. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think the appeal is? Not just for secret, but other 
horses that draws people to them, the horse races, the, the Triple Crown, and yeah. the running of the Belmont. What, what do you think it is about all that? Well, I've given it a lot of thought because it's so evident to me as I do my book signings and tours around the country. People come and they are just so enamored of this horse, mm -hmm. or he meant so much to them. And I think it has to do with the fact that the horse is very large and very powerful, and yet they trust us. Mm -hmm. They allow us to ride them. They, they do, essentially, if we treat them well, they will do our bidding, and that's an incredible uh, sort of gift. And and they're so beautiful, and they have this long face, and they have these very you know expressive eyes, and you know, and and uh, there's just something amazing about a a ho an animal that could kill you easily, you know, saying, okay, I'll be your your friend and your companion, and I'll and I'll work with you, and um, it's it's really. It, it touches your heart. That's yeah. why people fall in love. I think so so strongly with their horses. Now there's a, if I'm correct, there's a foundation, mm -hmm. and I know we have a mutual friend, mm -hmm. my aunt's sister-in-law, yes, uh, Charlene, Charlene Shaw, Charlene Shaw, yes, and they just had the whole premiere. Mm -hmm. Can mm -hmm. you tell us about more of that organization mm -hmm. and what they do with Secretariat? Secretariat uh, Foundation was founded by my mother, mm -hmm. Penny Chinnery, and uh, it is to it has three purposes. The first is to help fund research into laminitis, which is the disease that killed Secretariat okay. at the age of 19. Okay. He, he uh, developed this very painful hoof condition that is incurable. Um, and, uh, and so that was tragic. So, she, so we support uh, laminitis research and we're also very interested in supporting um, the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation and other research, uh, I'm sorry, rescue organizations that help horses uh, when they no longer have a useful life at the track, sometimes they end up in places that are really pretty sad compared okay. to what they deserve. And so the organizations that rescue thoroughbreds, like the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation, and, and rehabilitate them for other uh, equine sports, or for, to be pleasure horses, or okay. to be adopted, uh, we like that. Uh, like to endorse them. And also other organizations like um, the Racetrack Chaplaincy, which helps folks on the track. Okay. That, with uh, drug addictions or other personal crises, and also the the uh, permanently disabled jockeys fund. So we, okay. we you know, we, we use um, some profits from the secretary.com uh, website to to support those organizations and whatever sources of, of support we can get. Because I was going to ask you, yes. how can people get involved or find out more about Secretariat? You know, websites, yes. Twitter. What do we have? Well, there's secretariat.com, which is of course a website for buying memorabilia. Okay. Uh, you can contribute through them, or uh, or you can buy things, and a portion of that proceed will go to that. Or uh, Secretariat's Meadow is the name of our website that has to do with our book, yeah. and that talks about where uh, we'll be doing speaking engagements okay. or signings, or and also we're we're we've launched a new thing to get anyone who has a descendant of Secretariat, a grandson, oh. a granddaughter, great grandson. Okay to post pictures, share stories, because we've met so many wonderful people who have offspring and descendants. And then um, they can also, those are probably the two best places, okay. and anybody who's interested can just write those two websites and say, where can I send a check if they're interested, and we'd certainly appreciate it. We'll make sure it goes to a good use, a good equine. There's no overhead, no expenses for administration. Excellent. Yes. It's a very small private foundation. So there will be some, there's going to be another book tour for Secretary's Meadows? Yes. Yes. I'm going through the next year. Do you know where your next will be? I know I'll be at the Goochland Chamber of Commerce at the end of January. Okay. Um, we're uh, planning to be at a, um, a veterinary convention in, in uh, Florida in, in mid-January. Uh, I have a, some speaking engagements in Colorado. Okay. Um, and I'll be certainly back in Richmond oh, many times. Excellent. As, oh, and one thing I want to mention is we're going to have a, uh, we started this last year, we're going to continue to have it, a birthday party for Secretariat at the end of March at the Meadow. Oh, that Which be is wonderful. Meadow Event Park on, on uh, right opposite King's Dominion, right off 95. And there'll be information on the website On the website for that? about that, yes indeed. And that will just be open to the public, a chance to come and celebrate this wonderful horse's uh, Another anniversary. His 41st birthday, if oh, we're still cool. alive. How yes. cool. This has been absolutely wonderful. Thank you for My joining pleasure, us today. My pleasure, Eric. It's great fun talking to you. Well, this has been a very special Out and About with Kate Chenery Tweedy as we've been talking about Secretariat and Secretariat's Meadow. Thanks for checking in. You never know where I'll turn up next, and I'll catch you next time.